a sponge to your wisdom. I'm on the floor making cupcakes and also making bacon right now. Meal prep. Um, I wanted to say I so appreciate this, like so very much. However, I just absorb a lot of my wisdom from other people. Just so you know, when you hear my opinions, it's just a collection of a whole bunch of other people's opinions that I've then kind of interpreted with my own brain. Who not how, choose your enemies wisely, manifest, behave, plan your year like a millionaire. The intelligence trap, ninja selling, good vibes, good life, buy back your time. 15 invaluable laws of growth. Keys to living the law of attraction. Unlearning shame. I'm just a teacher that listens to audiobooks every day and then reads every day and then also teaches lessons and hears from people every day. A lot of my ideas aren't really new. I just, I so appreciated this comment, but I also wanted to like be up front and be like, I'm not necessarily coming up with all of this on my own. Like, a lot of these ideas are out there. I just kind of reframe them in a different way and put them in kind of like a 2020 context. But I gotta give like, I don't know, the human race, you know, credit. Like most of the really profound ideas about how to live like a happy life have been written about already. People just don't seem to like, I don't know, listen. <laughs> You are, and I try to. I'm always improving too. Anyway, I appreciated this comment, but I wanted to give people credit, including like authors, educators, parents, and of course my students. I learned so much from them as well. Anyway, I hope this helps.